Hi, I'm Sam, a 30-year-old obsessive compulsive miscreation. Not just scrubbing and organising the out of everything in sight, but seeing anything remotely sweet or chocolatey, I Usain bolt my way out of there. If I have too many foods of the same colour, you bet the colour won't be on my plate tomorrow. Hell no. I had way too many greens yesterday, so I'll be sticking to my yellows today. You see, not everyone around me gets it. Some people think I'm just weird or a little bit autistic. My dad thinks I'm gay. Yep. I told him I had OCD and he thought I meant LGBT. I try and live my life as normal as possible, but with having this illness for such a long time, I don't even know what normal is anymore. Everything just goes over and over and over. In the end, I can't help but run from someone who has just eaten a chocolate bar. Right, enough of that chit chat. I'm late already without talking to you lot. Oh, sorry, I'm just rearranging my ornaments so Nan doesn't die. Morning, darling. Oh, please don't ask if I'm all right. How's my little munchkin today? Yeah, fine, thanks, Mum. And yes, I have taken my medication. Have you taken your medication today? Yes. Next question. How did you sleep? How did you sleep, sweetheart? Um, yeah, not too bad, thanks. Now, I know you're going to say no, but would you like any pancakes? Uh, no, I'm fine, thanks. I'm just going to have some porridge, actually. Someone had some of my porridge oats. Yeah, I did. We didn't have any left. Well, there's not enough left for my breakfast now, and that's what I've planned. Well, I don't know what I'm going to have now. Uh, something else. We've got Cheerios or cornflakes. Well, that's not going to work, is it? I've got a tuna sweet corn bagel for lunch. What does that mean? Well, it's all a little bit too much corn and all a little bit too round. Not really, darling. Well, it is. I'll pick up something on the way to work. Do you think we should up your medication? No, I'll talk to the doctor later about it. I'm going to go. Late again, I see Sam. Getting to be a bit of a habit, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm sorry, boss. I've just had one hell of a busy day today. It is only 9.30. Oh, is that it? God, it feels like I've done a day's work already. Or at least my head does. Well, not in here, you haven't. Can you send me the link for a project meeting? Uh, yeah, I thought I already sent you the Earl. Sent me the what? Who the hell is Earl? What do you mean, who the hell is Earl? The link? The U-R-L. Oh. Oh, yeah, OK. Uh, yeah, I thought I already sent that to you. Bloody hell, that was hard work. Ah, uh, why can't people just leave things as they are? I've got to put everything back in place, otherwise Uncle Doug's hernia might come back. Oh, look, Mrs Inch is back with her disinfectant. Oh, I thought you weren't in today. I'm not. I just came in for the cake. Yeah, of course you did. Wait, what cake? Well, it's Lance's birthday. Well, who the hell is Lance? You know, mate, you with the glasses, works in the IT department. They call him Lancey Prancy. Yeah, I remember Lancey Prancy. Well, didn't he die of Covid? Where the bloody hell did you hear that? Clearly not, because he's 35 today and he's bought in a massive Victoria sponge. Oh, f this sh Who brings in a cake to work on their birthday, for God's sake? I've got to go. I can't be near that cake. I need to find an excuse um, to leave. I'm just going to go put my lunch in the fridge. Just a bit of hoovering, really. Okay. So, um, so, so we still have that coffee later then, or? If I have to. Well, yeah, it would be good if you were there. I'll think about it. Yeah, but the first draft's due on Monday. Yeah, I know. All right, then. Right, we are going to do Lance's cake now. Well, hey! Cake, 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 cake! My cake's gone! What do you mean your cake's gone? I put it in the fridge this morning. 
Has somebody moved it? How can a cake just disappear? Hey, yo, man, then, guess what I just seen outside? What? Oh, was your cake a Vicky sponge, bro? It was, actually. Oh. Took me two days. I swear to God, if anybody's nicked my cake. Oh, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. I just seen your cake on the outside on the pavement, bro. Looks like someone's got fair beef with you. Like, your cake was looking sick. Now nah, it looks like It's ruined. Consider this birthday cancelled. I've had enough. What weirdo would do that? Oh, that was close. I feel exhausted and it's only 11 o'clock. Oh, for goodness sake, the nerds are hypochondriac. Just tell them to take a paracetamol like you always do. Oh, come in, Brenda. Come, come and sit down. Oh, my name's Samantha, not Brenda. Oh, sorry. Brenda's my dog's name. May she rest in peace. Now, what brings you to the surgery today? Um, sorry the locks out, I've just been really, really struggling with the OCD and uh, it's not just about cleanliness now, it's about colours and things matching and, and things touching and, and all about food and for example yesterday I had way too much green and, and today I've kind of any green, I mean what's that all about? Well if you'd just like to pop yourself behind the screen and, and strip down to your underwear and I'll take a closer look at you. Um, is that really necessary? Yes. I don't think you've really understood what I've just said. It, it's going on in my head. Oh, OK, your head. Well, I think I could probably... Yes, I can probably get you booked in for an MRI scan that we can see what's going on in there. No, 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 as in my thoughts. Oh, yeah. I see, like a sort of mental health thing. Oh, here we go. Um, well, I'll tell you something, dear. Could it be your time of the month? Well, no, what's that got to do with anything? Well, you see, the thing is... Hormones come into play with these things, you see, and that could be why you're not feeling yourself and having some of these irrational thoughts. Hang on a sec. This has been going on for a very, very long time now, and, and the least I thought you could do is refer me to someone or somewhere that can give me some help. Okay, well, yes, I probably could refer you for some specialist help. The waiting list isn't too long. Currently, it's four years. Four years? Oh, yeah, that's standard. Could be longer. You see, in this borough, we've only got a couple of mental health workers. OK, um, so what do I do in the meantime, then? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to write you out a prescription for a higher dose of the tablets you're on already. Now, um, oh, I'll also put you down for some tranquilizers in case you just feel like knocking yourself out. And um, for the first two weeks, this higher dose might make you feel worse. So if you do feel like ending your life, don't. And, um, oh, you might get the odd cyst or two. There you go, dear. Okay, um, so what happens if I get solo? I, I just can't take it anymore. Well, there is this number. It's the mental health crisis number. You can give it a ring, but to be fair, they don't usually answer. You can leave a voicemail, but they tend not to get back to you. If I was you, I'd just have some lovely, calming chamomile tea to calm you down. Chamomile tea? Oh yes, it's great. You should try it. it. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy. So, uh, so how long do I take these for then? Well, most people are on them for about seven years. Some people are on them for life. Well, someone's got to keep the drug companies going, haven't they? <laughs> right. Well, uh, thanks for the help, I guess. Happy to help, Sam. Oh, and by the way, Sam, yep. just remember, there's always someone worse off than you, dear. Yep, so I've been told. Ugh, why is she eating more food and getting all over the bloody table? Here she is, Mrs. In. Oh, uh, um, excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Um, do you mind wiping down this table a little bit? Oh, I've cleaned that one already, don't I've worry. I've already done it. The state of it. Yeah, but where did it go? This croissant's banging. Oh, that's right. I can do it again. That's fine. Sorry, do you mind if I just, do you mind if I just do it myself? Oh, it's all right. It's my job. No, it's okay. I, I, I think I'd rather do it. I get paid for it. It's fine. No, it's fine. Can I just do it? Thanks. 
say do you want a drink there, Noel? I've already got one, but I'll have some of that chocolate brownie. I can't go near that chocolate cake. She'll have to go get it herself. Well, come on then, and we'll, we'll get it. Yeah. Hi, uh, can I get a um, a lemon and ginger tea, please? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Um, could I get it without the ginger? Is that okay? I'm afraid we can't do that. Oh, okay. Um, that's fine. Uh, I'll have a um, a, a chamomile. Be nice. Yeah. The doctor said it would calm me down. Oh, I think I might have one of those. Um, sorry. Actually, could I? I'll change mine. Um, I'll have a uh, I'll have a green tea. Yeah, thanks. Oh, and I'll have a slice of that chocolate brownies, please. Oh, it's bloody green, isn't it? Sir, have you written anything down for this presentation we've got today? Yes, have you? Nah. Well, why? Can't be asked. Yeah, but the first job's in for Monday. No, no, that's why I'd asked if you'd written anything down. Ugh, she's spitting chocolate brownie at me. But I can't cope with this anymore. Anybody would think she's malnourished. Look, Mags, you've got to start coming up with something. I, I can't do it all by myself. I've got an idea. You write the presentation and I'll give you a tenner. It's a win-win situation here, Inch. Oh, that means I don't have to see her again. All right, deal. <coughs> nah, no thanks. You sure you don't want any of this cake? Nah, you're all right, Bruce. Oh, she's literally making me feel sick. I can't work with this girl. I need to get out of here. Away from her and that mass of ginger hair. Ring, ring, yep. Hello? Yeah? No. All right, yeah, don't worry. I'll be there right now. Okay, coming. Everything okay? Yeah, no, um, Nan's just driven her scooter into the pond, so I've got to go. Yeah. Wait, have you, have you got that tenner? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, do you know what? Just bank transfer me. Yeah. Is that really necessary? Yes. Killing the environment, you are. Oh, I'll kill you in a minute. All right, bye. She's bloody weird. Oh, I'll have another slice of that cake if you've got one, love. Oh, mental health. That's a new one. You'll be shaking like a maraca soon enough. Now. Don't take them all at once. <laughs> Welcome to the Mental Health Helpline. If you have obsessive compulsive disorder, otherwise known as OCD, hang up the phone and go and wash your hands. If you have multiple personality disorder, press the number of personalities that you have. And if you have depression, no one's going to answer anyway, so you may as well go back to bed. We aim to answer all your calls by the next working day, but please don't hold your breath. Use that now. What's wrong with that one? It's been through the dishwasher five times as you requested. It's got a mark on it. Where? There. Oh, no green beans. Why not? They're good for you, honey. I just don't want any tonight. Because they're green. Oh, still being awkward then. Oh, why can't you just shut up? I just don't want any tonight. Awkward? You normally like them. Look, I just don't want any tonight. Is that alright? Is that alright, stress head? Come on, you two. Your sister can't help it if she's gay. Who said anything about being gay, Dad? Oh, for God's sake. It's like feeding time at the bloody zoo. And why does he have to put that whole potato in his mouth? How's everyone's day been? Same as yesterday. Well, how was yesterday then? Same as today. How'd you get on with Maggie today, Sam? Uh, yeah, alright, I suppose. What the f have you done that for? What have you just done? You've just put the green bean spoon in with the mash? And now I can't eat any of the mash? Why don't you eat the bits that haven't touched any of the mash? Because the spoon's still been in it, Mum. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Oh, yeah, of course you didn't. So, today, 
I got my first round of Botox. Can you tell? No. Please, darling, eat something. I'm just going to eat this chicken because it hasn't touched anything else. But I put my finger in that bit. For God's sake, it's all contaminated now because of her. Oh, Sam, I went all the way to that expensive shop on the high street to get this meal. It cost me a bloody fortune. How much? Oh, let's just say I didn't have enough to get the whole of my forehead done at the Botox clinic. Oh, for course, sake, Janet. Well, you don't want to be married to an old hag, do you? <sighs> no. Well then, be quiet and eat your dinner. Are you eating then? Well, I can't eat the green beans because I had too much green yesterday. I can't eat the mash because the green bean spoon has been in the mash and there's been a bloody finger in my chicken. They just don't get it, any of them. After all this, I can't eat any of this food now. It's all messed up. I'm gonna go get ready for my date. Well, that was yet another lovely thing, dinner, wasn't it? Oh, would you like anything to eat or drink? No, I'm fine, thanks. Um, I've actually got some bottles of water in my bag, and I've got one for you too. Oh, please don't get anything. Please don't get anything. I was actually thinking, maybe we get like a large popcorn, sweet, yeah? Bag of cheese, onion crisps, uh, two slushies. Oh, God. Why do you have to pick the worst possible things to have? You can't let him touch you, Sam. He's gonna eat it with his hands. Good job I've got some hand sanitizer in my bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I don't know who that was. <laughs> yeah, seats 12, 13. After you. Um, do you want to go first? Nah, sis, ladies first and all that. Nah, it's fine, you go. Nah, honestly, you go. No, it's fine, why don't you just go? I mean, the film's about to start, you know? I don't want to miss it, you know what I mean? All right, okay. <laughs> oh, no. I can't sit in seat 13. It, it's an odd number, and, and you know what happens with odd numbers. Something will happen to Nan. No, uh, no, 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 I can't let this happen. Just b bloody do something. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Can we switch? Oh, all right now. Get your dirty, greasy hands away from me. Yeah, sorry, I'm just a bit hot. Oh. Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. No, really, I'm all right. Why not? Because I don't, you little <laughs> Now turn around, shut up, and leave me alone. Spoil spot. You can turn around now. Film, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good actually. Yeah. I really like the lead actor. I've seen him in a few things now. Yeah, he's one of my favourites actually. Really? Yeah. Ah. Oh, um, sorry, Should, can we put some hand sanitizer in your hands? Because um we don't know what you've been touching. Oh, Is that sure. right? Yes. Okay. Right. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, this is me. Yeah. Thank you for a lovely evening. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's a great film with a great woman by my side. Oh, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, to be honest, Theo, well, I'm feeling a little bit turned on. Really? Yeah. Can I help you with that? Oh, I think if we end up kissing, our clothes will be on the bedroom floor. What's wrong with that? Your mate would. Uh, well, well, I'm a little bit hairy down there. Oh. Greta did say the rainforest had been cut down, so I thought I'd grow my own. <laughs> and no sex before marriage. Bye. How did it go, darling? Yeah, fine, thanks, Mum.